Thank you, Sergio. If we can have the slides on the screen, please. a tener que cantar. Sí. Ahora esperamos un segundo que esté en pantalla. So we'll wait for the slides to show on screen. So this presentation is about a framework for definition for policy proposals on new services. In February, you might remember there was a policy proposal that was not ratified by the board. So the message that we sent, that the chairs sent to the list explaining why it was not ratified included well, some of the messages that you can see on screen that I will proceed to read to remind you what we're speaking about. The inclusion of new services in our PDP requires a comprehensive approach of the policies that are needed and not incorporated in isolated elements because that uh, makes um, the operation of those services and the update of the policies more complicated. We need to remember that not all of the services that LACNI currently provides uh, must have a section in the policy manual. It would be very complex and cumbersome if all service had its own individual policy because that might lead to inconsistencies. The board also requested staff to design a reference framework to adopt policies on service, on the services that LACNI has authority over, and use as an authoritative sort the uh, LACNIC's uh, database, registry database. So the staff <coughs> looked at how to integrate or, or whether services have to be integrated into the policy manual or not. And these are some of the aspects that we discussed. In the first place, if the service is not included in the section definitions of uh, policy, it has to be um, assessed with the board to make sure that there is a match with the manual to understand the scope of the policy applicability and to incorporation. Each service just shall be prepared as a unique proposal to be considered by the board without generic formulas and considering the criteria on a case by case basis. Some of the criteria that we think are useful for this, whether the service uses another registry database, the level of adoption, the level of evolution of that service to have a minimum set of uh, policy, the criticality for that for the operation of the internet, and among others, it is not restricted to just this criteria. The submission of each proposal to include these services might be raised to the board by the community or staff. And there are two mechanisms for this. The first one, the staff might identify services and produce a proposal that staff will be brought to the public policy forum for community input. This is not a policy proposal. It's not about defining consensus, but rather it's like a task force. We want to get your input. After that, staff would submit it to the board and the board will decide whether it's been approved or not to continue on with the process for a proposal to incorporate that service in the policy manual. Or a second option is for the community to identify the need for that service, submit a proposal or an idea to the board. We can sort it out. We can 
make the necessary arrangements and be submitted to the public policy forum for feedback. It's not a consensus process. And once those uh, comments have been onboarded, staff will submit it again to the board and the board will decide whether that service will be incorporated into the policy manual or not. Well, that was just a quick summary or a quick overview actually based on the LAC 2023-5 on our PKI and RR. I just wanted to add or just a quick comment for everyone to know what a registry does, what an RIR does, basic. We have a database that we keep updated and that's it. That's our purpose of being, our core purpose of our existence. We speak about the registries, database in general as something magical, but basically the database was started by John Bostel who would write on a whiteboard, a blackboard, and then his secretary would type it on a typewriter and then ended up in some hard drive in Sao Pablo. That is the registries database and that is the main purpose of what we do. It's not our R, it's not our PKI, it's the, the registries database. That is our purpose of being. So that's what we should not take lightly. Not the policies or not the services that we are going to include in the manual. And that's just basically what I wanted to say. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Carlos.